Hey Survivors, Tramonaut here. I'm doing a quick uh, character creation or character build video today. Um, beginners or anyone looking for ideas, this one's for you. But if you're watching this as part of the walkthrough series, uh, don't worry, Wilfredo isn't going anywhere. But I want to show you a speed leveling character build that I've been using lately. Uh, it gives me a 105% XP bonus on 16 different skills. Okay, so that's like double XP on 16 skills. Uh, if you want to skip half the grind in this game, uh, come along with us here and I'll take you through it. As always, you can scrub through the progress bar for our topics uh, if you just want to skip to something in particular. All right, so as you may have noticed, I've got less time for these videos right now, but it, it doesn't stop there. I've got less time for games too at the moment. And you know, Zomboid is all about the grind and putting in the time. Uh, I actually had a comment a while back saying, Trombo, why do you keep saying you only have 600 hours logged in this game? And you might know by now, it is quite common to hear about players with thousands of hours on record. This game favors realism, right? And although learning something like level 10 electrical uh, won't take you the career lifetime that it might take in real life, Life, it will take you many, many hours of grinding away at dismantling TVs and radios and the like for one character. And then when that character dies, which they will, you have to do it again. So how am I coping with less time in a day, less time for this game? Um, I've got a new character build for playing in my multiplayer games and I'm loving it. Okay, quick tip before we get into it though, um, new players especially, if you're on your own server or playing a solo custom game, you can just set an XP modifier of whatever you want. Okay, it's a great way to explore what the levels have to offer. Uh, just follow very simply here. Uh, when you're making the game, just after you choose your starting town, you go over to character in your server settings, game settings, uh, and enter any number up to a thousand times multiplier, 1000 times multiplier. If you're in a multiplayer server, uh, you actually get more options here, right? And you can set the reading speed as well to get those book multipliers faster. Okay, that's just bonus though. That's not what you're here for. Let's get into the character now. Okay, let's look at it. Let's look at the good stuff first. Now, uh, just a few notes. We're not taking a few things here like uh, cooking and farming because stuff like that is going to level up very naturally just by keeping yourself alive, just by getting food, uh, doing the stuff that you have to do. So we're not, we don't need to speed that up. It's going to happen. And obviously you can tweak this build and the skills however you like, especially if you have mods for, you know, additional traits and stuff like that. Um, you're going to find though, we, we've got a running theme here. Okay, here's, here's the theme. We're just going to take as many skills as possible at a level one level. So if you're not using any mods, here's the, the best way to do that, to get as many skills as you can without repeating skills. So we're going to go for one skill point in as many things as possible. We're going to come up with the number 16. Uh, we're going to start with the expensive stuff. First, uh, let's start with Hunter 8 points for four different skills. That's excellent. And you can see already, so we're getting uh, new players. You might have noticed this, you might not. We have one skill, we have a 75% XP bonus. Now, this only happens for skills that you take at the beginning of the game on character creation, right? So that's the whole premise for this build is to get as many of these 75% bonus points, uh, bonus uh, multipliers as we can. So Hunter's a good one, gives us all that. We're going to take Handy as well. It gives us two skills that do not overlap with Hunter. Uh, so we're going to keep that going. Let's see, we should have a uh, former scout. Yeah, first aid and foraging. So keep on, keep in mind here. No repetition. We, we're going to spend a lot of points here on building this, so I'm trying really hard not to overlap my skills. Um, just so you know though, if I did overlap, like I could take Hiker, Forging and Trapping. Uh, trapping is two starting points, gives me a 100% bonus. Forging now as well, 100% bonus. So two points, 100%. One point, 75%. Obviously that first point gives me a 75% bonus. That second point only gives me 25% bonus on top of that. So it is diminishing returns. So I'm not going to take that. I'm not going to take Hiker. Uh, we're going to have a tough enough time as it is getting what we need. Um, so former scout, then the next good one here is Brawler. So that's going to give us some combat skills, Axe and Long Blunt. We'll be picking those up pretty quick. Um, gymnast, Light Footed and Nimble. It's going to help us get around unseen. Amateur Mechanic, uh, that's going to do obviously plus one mechanics. Also teaches us a lot of things we would have to learn from magazines about cars. So uh, big points there. Uh, sewer's good, tailoring's good, but again, it takes a long time, so we'll speed that up by taking this. Runner, where did I see? There you are, right there. Uh, sprinting, you're gonna do a lot of sprinting. It's going to level up, but you know what? It doesn't level up fast enough for me in the time I have, so I'm gonna speed that up too. Um, that's that's a definitely an optional one though. Um, angler, again, this is up to you if you do fishing, if you don't do fishing, uh, you may or may not take that one. Um, and I think that's it for these skills. But you might be looking at this and you're saying, Trombo, this is 75%, you promised me 105, where's my other 30%? Well, 
Well, maybe you already saw it. If you watched my other video, you know where it is. Testing one, testing two, testing three. I hope you found it. Fast learner, right? 30% XP bonus on everything, um, except strength and fitness, but on everything, that's really good. Um, I'm also gonna speed up uh, something else here. I'm gonna take fast reader as well, because on top of all this, I still wanna be reading books, and I wanna read books faster. I don't wanna just you know stand there staring at my screen as the progress bar goes by. It's not my cup of tea. If you're into it, you know, no offense, do each their own. Um, well, let's look then at the, uh, the debuff traits, the bad stuff here. Again, I'm gonna go all the way to the bottom, try to take the worst stuff uh, as the first stuff. Now, I'm gonna pause it here. You can do this however you like, but we've got 50 points to make up. I'm going to try to do this in the least harmful way possible with something in mind. I want to keep in mind, I don't want to be making a bunch of characters here, right? I just, I'm in it for the long haul. I want to feel the long haul, but I don't want to be putting in as much time for it. So I don't want to die. So spoiler alert, a lot of this is going to, if, if you're following the Wilfredo series, uh, you know, we call that the suicide build. That's like, if you get hit, it's really, really bad. So don't get hit. You got to play really safe for this. We're going to take thin skinned. So that's gonna just make all of our damage worse. Every time we get hit, it's gonna be worse for us. Um, we're gonna take that, we're gonna take a uh, slow healer. So slower recovery from those injuries we won't get. Uh, we're gonna take high thirst, always take high thirst, really easy to overcome. Um, what else here? I think, yeah, I usually take smoker. Uh, I actually love smoker, I think it adds a lot to the game. And in terms of like, just forcing you into unsafe situations, forcing you into risk, um, just, just adds a little variety in those quests for for what you need quests for your hits oh you know what we'll take overweight as well it's only minus one fitness here and that's not the hardest thing to overcome over time now these you know fitness and strength take forever forever to level but uh it's possible so minus one that's not too bad um restless sleeper as well slow loss of tiredness while sleeping i'm not going to take sleepy head and restless sleeper because together it's just it's just a knockout you're tired all the time remember one tiredness moodle is 50 percent damage debuff uh damage reduction on your attacks so you don't want to be too tired but we need the points so we're gonna get the points there um what else hemophobic now if we're planning not to get hit this shouldn't be a problem you can't do first aid on yourself and you do get stressed when bloody okay so that is that's the worst part now is getting stressed when bloody so make sure you got a river nearby uh or you spend some time in the rain or puddles keep washing up um but we need the points, so we're gonna do it. Uh, prone to illness as well, faster rate of zombification. You're also more likely to get colds. So here's the thing, dress warmly, don't stay out in the rain, don't get wet, don't get cold, and uh, don't get bit by a zombie, and you won't zombify faster. Okay, easy, done. Suicide build, uh, there we go. Um, what else do we usually take? Uh, weak stomach, did I already? Yeah, I always take this one. Uh, higher chance to have food illness. Well, you know what? Cook your food, okay? Eat good food, no problem there. And short-sighted as well is like three points, unless you wanna do a lot of foraging, so it reduces your foraging radius, right? It's two points though. What do we need? We need two points. You can do this any way you like, but here's how I like to do it. I'll take short-sighted. And you know what? I'll even, I'll even save this um, in case I haven't already. Fast learner. Plus, no, you know what? Fast Learner Pro. This is some pretty optimized learning we're doing. Um, all right, and that's basically it. We'll just uh, fire it up. I think I've got uh, Tamsin Stein. I love the chops, Tamsin. But uh, you know what? I've been on a kick with uh, Sam Winchester lately. I'm a fan of uh, this build. <laughs> I don't know, I just love the grunge hair. And I love like how close, to me, this looks like Sam Winchester. If you know who that is, you watch Supernatural, you tell me this doesn't look like Sam, as far as these low poly stuff goes. Dean is trickier, Dean's trickier, but I love Sam, here we go. Uh, let's press L to see our skills, and look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Reloading, that's gonna level pretty well, we don't necessarily need that. Um, you know, maintenance, it's, it comes uh, with, um, the handyman, we, we don't necessarily need this. Maintenance levels pretty fast as well, but the carpentry's nice. Um, and that is that is it. So uh, yeah, like us here if you liked it. Subscribe if you wanna see more. If you're interested in more character creation stuff, check out my deep dive videos about the untold effects of positive and negative traits. You saw a bit of that topic today when I mentioned things like short-sighted reducing your forging radius or prone to illness making you catch colds. It's a big topic, so check it out. Thanks for watching and good luck in the end times.